Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a full install of the Aeroflow Dynamics OEM style spoiler, duckbill, whatever you wanna call it, it's something in between. It's the more aggressive attacked kind of OEM style like Subaru, pretty much OEM. And we're gonna do a full installation. It doesn't take very long and it's a pretty easy modification to do. There's not a lot of technical skills, so if this is a style you want, it's pretty easy to do. And this is a new product. I've never had an Aeroflow product on my car. I've never even tried any of their stuff. So we're gonna see how it goes, how it holds up. We'll be do a check-in later. We're gonna check the fitment and we're just gonna kind of go over every nook and cranny of the install. Before we get too far into it, guys, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Lots of cool stuff coming to this car, lots of modifications, lots of new modifications that are just coming to the aftermarket community and some stuff that's been out there for a while with some improvements, but let's get straight into it. If you have the premium or limited model, the first step is going to remove the existing lip, which means opening your trunk, removing the liner and unscrewing the two bolts. I believe they're 10 mils side to side. That existing spoiler will come right off. You'll need to spend a little bit more time cleaning the area so you can have a good adhesion bond because you're gonna have a lot more built up kind of gunk underneath the existing lip, but I have a uh, base model and I'm not even gonna reuse the existing bolts. They come with bolts and Loctite and everything you need there, but I've put wings on cars before and 3M tape is more than enough. Even 3M tape makes it impossible to remove them, so I don't see any reason to drill the trunk, but let's start off by just cleaning the area. And then we're just going to test fit the wings so we understand how it fits and how we're going to put it on. Okay, we're just going to take a large shop towel. I just use old bath towels for this. We're gonna lay that on the car. And then we're gonna go ahead and put uh, 3M tape on the lip edge. I'm gonna show you a little bit more in depth when I actually have the tape on so you can see how I've done the placement, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just run through this because this is boring. You guys don't wanna watch this. So I've gone ahead and I've put the 3M tape on and I've used like three quarters of the provided roll. And what I've done here is I haven't fully created a seal because I don't have any existing holes in my trunk. If you do have holes and you're not bolting it, I would highly recommend making a full seal across the whole thing, but I don't need to. I know that this isn't gonna be the permanent solution for me. I might do an STR wing, I'm just not sure yet. So I wanted to put the least amount on, which it still seems like a lot here, but I wanted to put the least amount on just so when I remove it, it's a little bit easier. The only place that I really went heavy is I put an additional piece here in the corners, additional piece here in the corners. I intentionally didn't get the very far corners here. And that's just because if there isn't perfect fitment, I don't want there to be visible 3M tape that's like popped up in the corner here where it can accumulate grime and dust and then get into these strands. So I just, if there's a little bit of lift there, it's okay. I just don't want to have exposed 3M tape. And the next step here is just to remove the backing of all of the 3M tape. We just want to check the fitment after we've just tacked it down. Make sure that we've got no gaps. Make sure the sides are in the same proportion. Got a finger, half about a half a finger on either side. No, a little bit of wiggle, which just means that we have to tack down. Let's tack it down. No wiggle, we're gonna tack down here. And we wanna just put constant pressure on this for a little while. You're probably putting all your body weight on it for about you know, 30 to 90 seconds. And I like to pulse a little bit here, promote adhesion. You just don't wanna push on the tip of this because this is just plastic, right? I mean, these things are not, they don't have a lot of structural integrity. So don't apply force here, apply it where your 3M tape is. And there we go, guys, it's on the car. It's looking pretty good. Good, uh, good fitment on both sides. That is looking pretty sharp, in my opinion. Pretty sharp. Nice color. Matches great with the overall look. There's the profile of it. Looking pretty good. Pretty aggressive. It's a nice change to the rear of this car, especially because there was nothing before. It's a, it's a little bit more, the angle of attack is a little bit higher than I thought it was gonna be. Like, this angle is a little bit higher than I thought it was gonna be. 
Doesn't look bad though. Pretty easy modification to do. I would highly recommend it to anyone that is looking for that kind of style. So far, product seems to be good. Obviously, I just put it on the car. So we will see how it holds up over time. The install itself, super easy, no complaints. As 3M installs go, it went seemingly good. I've only ever done a, th I've only ever done a carbon fiber duckbill and that had a lot less, like that had a lot more rigidity and a lot less play. So that was a little bit harder to install just cause you didn't have as much wiggle room. We're gonna finish this video now because it is like 85 degrees out and I'm pretty much dying and I will see you guys in the next one. 